this module, we delve into the world of statistics. Dum dum dum. Actually, we are looking at reliability through the lens of statistics. Now, if you haven't taken a stats class in a while, or ever for that matter, don't fret. In this course, I am more concerned that you're able to understand the reasoning behind the equations rather than the equations themselves. That is, in this case, are you able to explain why a particular reliability coefficient is significant to the test itself? So, when the resources ask you to try out an equation or certain procedures within SPSS, do take note, but don't worry about following through via SPSS. SPSS is a program used to sift through quantitative data with statistical measures. You will not be required in this course to use such a program, and just knowing the basics of each statistical method is sufficient for now. This week, along with the regular module discussion board and case study three, you have your first quiz. I know these can be a little scary at first, but I really have tried to design the assessment to measure your basic comprehension of the required reading, including what reliable right sorry, what reliability is, how it works, why it's important, how it's measured, and the various types of reliability. Use the reading as your guide to study. As always, you have multiple sources of required reading, each with its own spin on reliability. You might find it useful to take notes to synthesize all of the sources into something meaningful to you. You can use your resources and notes on the quiz, but you cannot collaborate with others on the assessment. Additionally, please be aware that you will not have time to look up all of the answers during the timed quiz, so it's much better to read and review the required materials prior to starting the quiz. Due to the nature of the assessment, the quiz will only remain open for three days. Please check the module agenda for the specific dates. After the close of the quiz, no late work will be accepted, so please plan ahead. As always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to post to the FAQ.